So we're going to do something called the determinant, and um, we're going to start with the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So um, that's what we have here. We have the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, and this is the you know, formula, in other words. Um, it's not very difficult. But I also want to say that there are a couple ways to represent a determinant. You'll see that you know, if I have a matrix, let's just call it A, B, C, D, and instead of brackets, you see the brackets here, I have straight lines that look like large absolute value signs. That indicates to take the determinant of a matrix. I could also say that matrix A is the following matrix, right? And then I could write determinant of matrix A. And that's also telling you to take the determinant of the matrix, which I can write like this with the straight lines also. So there are different ways to say to take the determinant. You can actually write DET, which is short for determinant of the matrix, or if you see a matrix with straight lines, like almost large absolute value um, symbols, that indicates determinant, okay? So let's take the determinant of these two um, matrices real quick. Um, it's two by twos, just two by twos for now. So um, it's not difficult. You're going to take, you're going to start with uh, this diagonal. So I'm going to take the product of this diagonal, and then I'm going to subtract the product of this diagonal. So that's what I'm doing here, okay? So the red diagonal, the product of the red, so I'll write it. 2 times negative 5 um, minus the product of the green diagonal, uh, 4 times negative 3. And I'm not going to typically write all this out, but I'll do it for now so you see. So I'm taking this product minus this product. So negative 10 minus negative 12, which is negative 10 plus 12, or 2. And the, the determinant of a matrix um, should give a scalar value. And I don't know if you remember when we talked about inverses, inverses of a matrix. If the uh, determinant of the matrix is zero, then the inverse of the square matrix doesn't exist. So we're taking determinants of square matrices. Here's another one. I'm not going to actually write it all out. I'm going to do the first diagonal. This diagonal, product of that diagonal, 15, minus the product of this diagonal, um, 42. Product of this diagonal, let's say left to right, minus the product of right to left, top to bottom, okay? Always top to bottom. So this product minus this product. And then um, simplify. So again, the determinant is giving me a scalar value, correct? So um, if this were equal to zero, then I would not have um, an inverse. But now this is not equal to zero, so this could potentially have an inverse. Let me do one more. I'll just make it up. 2, 7, 5, negative 1, one more. And actually, um, I should be writing this because they didn't have this in the book. Determinant of the following matrix, determinant of the following matrix, and I'm going to actually write it in its proper form to indicate determinant. Find the determinant. Having this says find the determinant. So first, um, diagonal, this product, negative 2 minus this product, 35, which is negative 37, okay? Not difficult. These are determinants of 2 by 2 matrices.